The Sabre HP 3167 is a portable handheld tool that lets you test the condition of 6 or 12 volt batteries and quickly test the starting or charging systems of vehicles. The Sabre HP tests flooded lead acid and absorbed glass mat AGM batteries. The top of the tester has the following components. The RJ45 port connects a personal computer, PC, for updating the internal software. The test lead port connects the battery clamp test lead. Infrared lights output signals to the printer for printing test results. The two terminal adapters are for testing side post batteries that are not installed in vehicles. Each adapter has a threaded end that screws into the battery. The test lead has the following components. A connector connects to the top of the tester. A three-foot cable. A black clamp connects to the battery's negative terminal. And a red clamp connects to the battery's positive terminal. The printer is an infrared printer. When the Sabre HP is turned on, the first screen in the digital display is a main menu. In-vehicle tests a 6 or 12 volt battery that is installed in a vehicle. This test determines the battery condition and then lets you complete the test or continue with a test of the vehicle's starting or charging system. The test results include the battery condition and the condition of the vehicle's charging system, starting system and diodes. You may select an out-of-vehicle test, which allows you to test a 6 or 12 volt battery that is not installed in a vehicle. This test determines the battery condition and displays the results, good, bad, etc., along with the battery's open circuit voltage. Quick test determines the condition of a 6 or 12 volt battery and displays the open circuit voltage. View last test displays the results of the last test performed. Utilities has the following options. Set time and date lets you set a date and time for printing on test results. Unit version displays information about the software, such as name, version number, etc. Test counters displays the number of tests done with the tester and lets you reset these counters to zero. Edit header footer lets you add information for printing on test results, such as your shop name or a message. And stored tests stores the results for up to 25 tests for you to review later. To prepare for testing, follow these steps. Check the following. If the battery being tested is frozen, let it warm up before testing. Make sure that the terminals of the battery being tested are clean and dry. Brush and clean gently if necessary. If the battery being tested was recently charged or is a used battery, let the battery stabilize three minutes before testing. If testing a battery installed in a vehicle, Make sure the contact between the battery terminals and cables is not oxidized or loose, which causes cranking and charging problems and may falsify the test results. If testing a battery installed in a vehicle, turn off all sources that may drain current from the battery. For example, turn the vehicle's ignition key and all accessories and other loads off, close the doors and trunk, and disconnect the underhood light. Install a 9-volt battery in the tester's battery compartment. To open the compartment, slide the cover toward the bottom of the tester. Connect the test lead, the one with the battery clamps, to the test lead port on the top of the tester. Finger tighten the connector's screws. If necessary, connect the optional side post adapters to the battery. Attach the test lead's clamps to the battery's terminals, red to positive, black to negative. The out-of-vehicle test takes about 13 seconds to determine if the battery is good, has a low charge, or is bad. The test shows the battery condition even if the battery is discharged down to one volt state of charge. To do the out-of-vehicle test, follow these steps. Do the steps in pre-test steps. This displays the main menu on the tester. Use the up and down arrow keys to select out-of-vehicle, and then press the go key. This displays the Choose Battery Type screen. Do one of the following. If the battery is conventional, flooded lead acid, press the up arrow key. 
If the battery is AGM, press the down arrow key. This displays the battery's open circuit voltage, or OCV. Press the go key. This displays the select unit screen. Use the down arrow key to select a capacity rating for the test. After selecting a capacity rating, press the go key. This displays a screen for entering the capacity rating. Use the up and down arrow keys and adjust the rating until it matches the rating on the battery's label. Press the Go key to begin the load and recovery part of the test. The screen displays first load on, second load on, recovery period, and then working as it applies two medium loads to the battery followed by recovery periods and then determines the battery condition. When the test is complete, the screen displays the battery condition, the open circuit voltage, or OCV, the cold cranking amps, CCA, and the battery warranty encryption code for warranty claims. Analyze the test results. For descriptions of possible test results, refer to Understanding Test Results on page 8. If you have the printer, optionally print the test results. To end the test and return to the main menu, press the Menu key. Select another test or disconnect the clamps from the battery. Press the OFF key to turn the tester off.